Hi everyone, welcome back to Rainbow Acrylics. My name's Claire. I'm going to use another 3D printed template from Pour Away Fluid Arts. Um, I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video for their website, for their, their company. Um, it's a 3D printed plastic template um, and it's in a spiral. I love my spirals. Um, 30 by 30 centimeters. I'm going to do a rainbow. So very simply, I'm going to be putting little spots of the colors on the on in the spiral spiral take off the template and then I'm going to use a stick or something just to feather it just to give it a design so it's going to be a proper rainbow spiral so um, let me show you the colours so these are the colours in order I kept them on my floor so I can keep them in order to show you so I've got Pebio iridescent red blue Amsterdam carmine Pebio orange yellow um, essentials royal and langnickel cadmium yellow Amsterdam Naples Yellow Deep, um, Pebio Iridescent Green Yellow, um, Graduate Acrylic Emerald Green, Pebio Iridescent Blue Green, Graduate Acrylic Metallic Blue, Amsterdam Thalo Blue, and De La Rowney Deep Violet, Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet Light, Pebio Iridescent Blue uh, Violet Blue, and Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose Light. So this is the beautiful template I'm using. So you can see it's got some depth to it. Um, it's got a little line just holding all the spirals in place and it's got some edges. Um, it's quite flimsy and bendy. Um, <clears throat> so first thing I need to do is somehow work out how I'm going to stick this to the canvas so that the colours, when I pour them on, the colours don't go underneath. Um, so what I've decided to do is put a base layer of paint down, very thin layer, that I'm hoping the the template will then stick into. So I've actually got a bit of spare purple, doesn't really matter what colour, and I'm just gonna very thinly um, spread that over my canvas, just so that the whole canvas is wet. Oops, sorry. Um, I'm hoping that that will do the trick. So it's now covered, so I'm gonna just place this onto the canvas and hope it's wet enough now for it to stick. Yep, yeah, I think that is fine. So what I plan on doing now, this is going to take a long time, is just to drip the paint into the different sections in all in rainbow order um <clears throat> i want to i don't want to put too much paint in but about the same of each the same each time so just looking at this i've only just realized there's actually three separate spirals. I think I had in my head that this was just one massive continuous spiral. It's not, it's three separate spirals. And I've only just noticed that um, as I'm literally about to start pouring. So I've got a slight change of plan. Um, I'm going to divide the paints up into three. So I've got the reds, oranges and yellows, the greens and blues, and the purples and the pinks. So I think what I'm going to do is do three separate rings of each of those colours. So let's just check the consistency. So my consistency is quite nice and thick. Um, and the reason it's thick is because I want it to hold when I take the template away. If it's too thin, all the colours are going to merge together too much. Um, and then you'll lose the, the separation of the colours, the spiral of colours. Right, so let's start with with the red.
Right, that's my first <laughs> line done. Two things I've learned that I wasn't expecting. <clears throat> um, one, the colours have seeped underneath. Um, so it obviously hasn't been totally in contact. So I, I've been kept sort of pressing it down to try and keep the contact. It will help when the other lines, lines of paint are filled because that will push against what's already there. The second point that I've learned is that actually the base colour is coming up in certain places. So um, it's totally fine because it's a colour that's included in this painting. But uh, I'm glad I didn't put a different colour, like a black or a white base. Otherwise, I would have had little flecks of a totally different colour introduced as well. So now let's do the greens and blues. I'm a bit concerned about the amount of paint I've got on here because it's a good, I don't know how many millimetres, two two three millimeters thick with paint deep with paint and that's a lot so when it comes to dry that that worries me um so just the same again with the greens and blues Right, now ready for the third and final ring. Um, I've got such mixed feelings about this so far. Um, I'm disappointed that it's leaking, um, but I'm optimistic that by putting the last layer on over the top of the leaking bits, it will actually hide it. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm really, I'm, I'm not sure how, I, I'm not sure how I feel about this at the moment. Um, Wow, that has taken ages. Um, my back's aching because I'm leaning over. Um, I'm glad it's done. Um, I'm a bit disappointed with how messy it is. I was hoping to get it just much more perfect looking, but I could have done that, but it would have taken me even longer. Um, so there are a few there are a few bits where it's just spilt or it's but anyway, I'm, I'm, it's done. Um, so I'm going to take up this. Um, I think I'm just going to have to try and do it reasonably quickly so it doesn't drip. Oh, wow. Oh, that's much better than I was expecting. I've caught it here. I need to sort that out there. That's actually much prettier than I thought it would be. I'm going to do some feathering on it. But I think if I just give that a minute just to settle, just so all the colours can sit and sort of rest and level themselves, because they will move. These lines won't stay perfectly straight. Um, and I just need to sort this bit here out. Unfortunately, it just caught. But actually, everywhere else, it's, it's come up really well. So I won't grumble about that. That's fine. 
Right, I've got a wooden skewer. So there's two things I want to do. One is to go around the edge of the actual spirals, but the other is to feather the colours. Um, Right, that has really, really helped. So although it's pulling the colours through and it's distorting some of the colours, it just helps it to really flow. So what I want to do now is exactly the same, but in the centre of each of the spirals, because that will help to feather all the colours together. Wow. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, that's so cool. That's so pretty. Oh, wow. That feathering again, that's, just, that's made all the difference. Wow. It's a little bit uneven. The circles aren't completely straight or oh, round, sorry, but I just think that there's no way of avoiding that. Wow, it is so cool. Love it, love it, love it, love it. One last torch and then I'll get you in for a close up. I'm totally amazed because it came together right at the last moment. Um, now suddenly the slight spillages, the slight scruffiness of it, it doesn't matter because of the design of it. I absolutely love it. It is beautiful. Um, I love the feathering. So if you look at the pinks and purples there, the colours are just pulled through each other. So they're suddenly, they're not little separate spots of colour. They are now, it's all together, all in one design. Um, there are mistakes like there, there's some green in the orange. But actually, when you look at the pic, when you look at it as a whole, it doesn't matter. Um, I think it works really, really well. Um, as I said, there's a lot of paint on here. So my concern is that as this dries, um, it will bow, it will move. Um, but I, I can't do anything about that now. Um, so, yeah, lots of I've learned a lot from this. I would definitely change things next time. Um, but wow, I'm happy with this result. So very eager to see how this dries. I absolutely love it. It's so fun. It's absolutely bonkers. Totally crazy. Um, really love it. Couple of um, minor faults with it. It's not totally straight uh, or round. So you can see, oh, sorry, I've been drawing on my hand. Um, you can see here, for example, it, it bows around a little bit here. So if you look up really close, it hasn't held its shape everywhere. Um, and I think that's because it was just slightly runnier um, than, it sh than it could have been. If I made it slightly thicker, I think that would have helped. Um, other really interesting thing is, can you see, um, so I went green, green, turquoise, blue, blue. So that blue actually looks purple and the, the metallic blue has virtually disappeared. It is there. But it's it not not much at all. It, the darker blue has really really taken over. Um, but look at the effect when you stand back. Love it. Um, I have just painted on a border. I've gone for a very dark purple. Um, the edges looked really messy. That's just my push pin still in there. The edges look really scruffy, really messy. Even though I dabbed them with the correct colours, um, just it didn't look right. So I think it looks really sharp now, really crisp with the painted board at the painted edge. Um, so it was a time consuming one, um, but wow, love it, really happy with it. Um, so please let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Any thoughts, any comments, or any ideas on how I can 
improve on this um, or do it differently next time, please do let me know in the comments. Great, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.